Hi folks, Tom Urban here again, ready to show you some big, crispy, chunky chimney downstairs kind of thing that no one really likes to talk about and says, you can't fit that in there. Well, chances are you can do it. Um, I'm in pretty much one of the worst conditions you probably would be in. This thing's been here since, oh, the millennium change, and I'm not talking about 2000. It's been here a while. Um, some of you maybe have, may see things like this, other ones may not find it as bad as this one, but truth of the matter is, this is a really pretty great example of, of uh, a thimble chimney with a clean out for it. And we just want to show you a really easy, simple way of being able to get the camera up inside this and get yourself going. And how I lay it out is quite simple. On the top of the camera I put the three inch wheels that we have that was on the blowfish. On the back side you can see I do have the blowfish incorporated. I bent it out a little bit. I have a bare 9x9 nine nine chimney, which is pretty common for older neighborhoods or in the East Coast, perhaps up in Chicago area, in the Northwest, uh, you may find these. So what I've added to is I've also added another piece we, we've taken out, or actually we put back in, is a maxi flex. And the maxi flex just helps us bend the camera, as you can see, like this, so that we can get it inside here with a lot less stress on the camera and also on the thimble. And in most cases, and as, just as this one here, this has an old, beat up, rusted, stick in the throat, old thimble that, you know, if you're not careful, there's some rough edges to it, which either one, cut your, cut your hands, or cut your cable, or, or tear the camera up. So that's in there just waiting for me to get stuck in it. And uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to show you how I put it in. And it's really simple, the process of getting it put in. As you see, I kind of partially bent it up already. So I'm going to raise the camera, let the wheels go to the back wall. I'm going to hit. And when I do, I'm going to just push down, and I'm going to have to reach in, and I'm just going to have to pick it up off the brickwork, which is quite common because it is online, and I push it through. And as I go to the point, I'll take the other rod, take another half inch rod, I'll set it in place, and I'm going to push it, push it up farther, and the same thing, I might have to push, take my hand, and when I do it, I push down like this, so I hit the center of the chimney, and I let the rod flex and come around. I'll do the same thing when I'm bringing it back down, but I want to just get it up a little bit higher, and I can continue on adding rod to it. In this case here, I have the blowfish in, and then I have a half inch rod, and from there I went with a 7 8 I have a little extra room. So now from here, most likely I would continue with 7 8 or excuse me, 5 8 the rest of the way inside the chimney. Um, if it gets a little bit harder to push, may, I may think about putting a 7 8 rod in, but I know when I get it through here, it's going to be a little bit rough to, to turn. So which means I'm going to have to do a lot of jacking with my hand or to jockey it back around and get it pulled out like that. Because you are going to, even though you are, there's hardly any of a lip here, Guarantee when it comes across that lip that's down there, just waiting to cut my hand, um, it's going to hit this too. <clears throat> so take your time, and it's just a matter of pushing in to go up, and bring it back down is basically pushing it to the back and letting it roll down through your hand. So if I go up higher with it, and go up higher like this, I want to turn the camera, I can turn the camera accordingly inside the chimney, okay, and I can do everything I need to do with it, and then when I'm done, I can bring the camera back down. The same process, I'll take my rods off, I'll bring the camera back down, and I'm going to push my hand down like so. Just carefully just, just push them down, bring it through. I can take off my other half inch rod and bring this through and come right back out. There. Okay? So I took a little bit of a sweet twist into it. We've been through this thing so many times, I think it almost knows its own way to how to get up there. But that's how you do that. Now this started out as a 6 inch, but in the process of going in and out of here so many times, it's now back to the original 8 inch that was there. But we did push this through a 6 inch thimble to go through. This is approximately just about 12 to 14 inches thick. So we've had people who have said they push as far as 3 and 4 foot thimbles and have taken and gotten it through. But the real kick is, folks, when it gets to that back wall, it's the ability to be able to push the camera up and get it started. Once you get it started, then the rest of the way it will follow. And again, it's a matter of that. Push down, like push in and push down at the same time, and it'll just, it'll just continue to rock its way right up through and go past the connectors, and you continue on, get to the top of the chimney, and go down. Now, remember when you're bringing it down, especially if you're using an autofocus camera, you see through the demonstration, I just left it at home. But of course, once I got above here and I had the monitor in front of me, I would, of course, been, you know, moving the camera out so I could go ahead and, and scan the interior of the chimney. But remember, when you're bringing it back down this position, to go always lower it back into home before you try to start this. Okay, it's a lot easier on the camera and a lot easier on you. So until next time, thanks an awful lot, and that's how you get through Thimble Chimney. Oh, one last thing I forgot. The same thing would apply if you're going to go through a clean-out port. The same thing. I would do the same as push it in, and again, same push down, and then continue to push up with it. 
Same process, just different location. So if you can't think you can make that one there, then you might be able to do this one. You can do this one here. Thanks an awful lot and take care.